Look at that, I'm packing some heat there. Oh, so the current star of the Mavic show is really the Mavic 3 Pro. Hasselblad. And there's another Hasselblad there. Yes, there's a 100 megapixel Hasselblad right. Oh, but there's another 100 megapixel Hasselblad here. This is the Mavic 4. It looks like those, um, those lights from disco. We know that lock likes going to a disco. Went to one once and hate it so loud. Where do you have? I'll have my coffee at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on. Did you see that? Did you catch that? Yeah. <laughs> now, it's a lot quicker to turn on. You just open up. Is it? Yeah. So they're making it a lot easier. It makes sense. Yeah, it do make sense. Because even the flip, you just open it. Yeah. You unflip it. This is a big step up in terms of making it quicker to get going. The last big step was when you know, did away with phones before you had to connect your phone to the controller. Mm. And this is the new controller with quick start. I'm just a bit slow getting it out. The controllers. Honestly, <laughs> it takes longer to get the controller out of the bag. <laughs> so this is an impressive looking thing. Huge screen. Look at that. Wow. Where are the controls? Yeah, but where are the controls? Yeah, let me show you. Back then you have to like take it out somewhere, screw it on. Oh, let's tease it out. Tease that stick out. Oh, and then it's on. Seriously, see, seriously, this is seriously good. Yes. Seriously cool. Yeah, it's exactly how I'd put it as well. It's one of those kind of innovations, which makes me think, why didn't they do that before? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that screen is a seven inch screen, 2000 nits. This is 5.5 inch, uh, 700 nits. So it's... <laughs> And you, you can see it's, it's quite good even on a sunny day like this. I guess with an ND filter you probably can't see it that well. And now you, now you can see it. I think, I, I think it's already really pretty good looking at like this. You yeah. don't usually... When we film a screen, it's not usually that um, visible. Yeah. Uh, but also, you can rotate it like that. This is a bit different that you, well, it's got a built-in microphone as well. Oh, what? Yeah. HDMI output. Yeah. Clean output. 128 gigabytes of internal memory. Four hours battery life. That's, I think that's 30% better than this one. Yeah. Also, you can, because it's basically an Android, this one you can install third-party apps on. What? <laughs> Play Angry Birds on it? <laughs> yeah, why not? But not only is the drone better, but it's the controller as well. There we are. That's quick. Apart from all the waffling, all the talking in between, that's super quick. And you don't even need the, the satellite thing to be ready to take off. Well, let's cut the grass. <laughs> let's help the cows. Whoa. 6K, 6K 60 on this. 6K, yeah. yeah. Yes, I like 6K. It's also got Ooh. bird detection. What is follow a bird? Yeah, you can do. You best <laughs> have it on the telly lens because you don't really want to scare them or, or no. potentially harm them. And here we are exploring cow poo fields of Britain. The Mavic 3 Pro offered up three different focal lengths from three different sensors, which would essentially give you equivalents of 24, 70 and 166 mm so you could get close to subjects that you physically couldn't get close to. With the Mavic 4 Pro, it's three cameras again, but not only has the main camera been upgraded, but also on the other end of the focal length spectrum too. They have improved the main camera, the four thirds camera, 100 megapixel Hasselblad camera. What does Hasselblad mean? Well, it's just essentially Hasselblad colors. They've synchronized it, so all three cameras, same colors. So when you change between them, you shouldn't see a difference. Well, this is what they look like. Although the tele lens is still the smallest sensor, it's bigger than on the Mavic 3 Pro, where there was a noticeable quality difference between the tele lens compared to the main and mid-range lenses. Also, although the max aperture of the main camera on the M4P is slightly larger, the tele lens max aperture is now the same as the mid. DJI's tried to offer as much of the same when you switch between those three lenses. You had three cameras on the Mavic 3 Pro. Uh, you've got D-Log on the main camera, the other two cameras is D-Log M, but now it's the same all round. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Especially if you're doing a shoot, same place, but with different cameras. 
Yeah, and then you don't have to remember like, oh, this, this one do this and then another camera do different things. Still, although going from mid to telly isn't such a step down, the Hasselblad camera is still a big step up, perhaps even more so now. Well, while it may still be a four thirds main camera, they've also improved the dynamic range. Apparently the dynamic range should be the best four thirds camera you can ever get. It's got 16 stops of dynamic range. 16? 16, what? yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, that's isn't quite, it? That's quite mad, isn't it? Yeah. Side by side, although technically the Mavic 4 Pro is a little bit further back due to the 28mm focal length compared to the 24mm of the Mavic 3 Pro, the improved dynamic range is noticeable, even just by looking at it from the screen. You can see like the flowers there. Yeah. You can still see the detail there. Yeah. The Mavic 3 Pro is kind of blown out a bit. Yeah. The specified stops of dynamic range always sounds good on paper, but what really matters is how it is in use. And the Mavic 4 Pro doesn't disappoint. It clearly has an advantage when it comes to retaining the details in those highlights versus the Mavic 3 Pro, the robustness of which can be seen when you push the exposure a little. It's a big benefit because drones are most likely going to be flown during the day and possibly around midday like here, where the contrast can be high between white things reflecting light compared to the rest of the scene, or even between land and sky, whether it be clouds or flowers the Mavic 4 Pro retains the details in them nicely. Not only is it just the dynamic range that is improved, another thing that is apparent is the increased level of detail in those files. Comparing the Mavic 4 Pro and the Mavic 3 Pro, the newer DJI clearly produces the crispier files. Um, you know, before, say H265, now it's got all eye uh, video compression. Of course, that's going to mm. make your, your file sizes bigger. Consequently, recording with less compression equals big files, so you're only capable of doing that when you go big. But it won't allow me to record all I on SD. Oh, bit ray or something, or just just, just because. But all I is not like ProS. It's not raw. No, it's just all I. But it's your micro SD card, uh, fast one. Yes, I only buy the best. Look. Hmm. So go big, just not on the memory card. Internal, but not the 64 gigabyte version. That's a 512 gigabyte version if you want to benefit from all eye recording. Now, before we look at why the Mavic 4 Pro has that bulbous front end like that, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Get started with building your own website or store using their quick and slick user interface that makes setting up your own pages a doddle. I went a bit lo-fi with this website, but you can make professional looking websites easy peasy. Give it a go with a 14 day free trial and 10% off your first order with the link down below. It's very impressive, isn't it? I'll do a little nod as well. A very slow nod. <laughs> but you're probably wondering why that is shaped like that. That is because this is quite revolutionary. I mean, literally, it revolves. Let me show you. You're on zero degrees to start off with. If you move the gimbal that way, it does minus 40 degrees and then it stops. Kind of like that. Like Derek Zoolander, it's not an ambi turner, but if you go the other way. Oh, it's creepy. It's like it's like a it's like a ghost. It's like it's like those uh, uh, horror movie, the the, the 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 zombie or ghost like oh don't think he said. Don't think he said. Also, so you can tilt down as well. And with the widest lens furthest away from the body when facing down, it doesn't end up featuring the drone in the shot. But then it can also go the other way too. Up we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh, let's look at the sensors. On the, on the top, it's a little bit different than before. Before that, it was like pointing front and side. Interesting, the uh, arrangement of the avoiding uh, 
lenses quite different because before that they would have like two pointing at the back yeah and in this situation those obstacle avoidance really important yes especially when it costs this much and over water one thing that has been improved with the Mavic 4 Pro is small obstacle avoidance. It will detect obstacles as small as 2 centimeters, as they say. What I can say is that I found it easier to get the M4P in and out of the forest. It just seemed more assured about what is an actual risk and what was not. The Mavic 3 Pro, however, was a lot more hesitant when surrounded by the same foliage obstacles. Actually, I don't even know why this won't go. Let me, oh, let me change the camera first. To get that same shot, I had to stick on sport mode to get it through the foliage. One cool thing is that there's a little picture-in-picture -picture view from the sensors with warning lights. It's neat that it will change to a different direction if you suddenly move the drone in a different direction, although that picture-in-picture -picture is pretty tiny. But also on the front, it's got LiDAR. Oh, low LiDAR. Light oh, I see. So if you plan to fly, fly this in low light... It's not too loud, actually, is it? No. Because for this size, I mean, probably quieter than my Spark before. Yeah, they were noisy buggers, like the first, first, second generations. Yeah. It's the Maverick. Oh, yeah, it, Maverick. it flew under the Mavic uh, 3 something, 3 Pro. Free Pro. It's like showing off, I'm flying under you. So that's still halfway, 50% battery. Mavic 3 Pro is 38% now. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I think we made our point. And that's pretty much what's cool and new of the Mavic 4 Pro. It opens up new possibilities with the Infinity Gimbal, as they call it, but it has addressed some of the inadequacies of the Mavic 3 Pro also. Of course, it uses O4 Plus now instead of O3 Plus transmission, the better tele lens, improved flight time, and then nice improvements that I didn't think I needed, like better dynamic range and obstacle detection. The Mavic 4 Pro is the most advanced consumer drone from DJI so far. The only cons? Changing focal lengths and zooming could be a little slicker. It's heavier too. It's now breached 1kg. But the rotors must have been operated too. It does feel quick and very smooth. Overall though, great controller with a drone that is not just an evolution, but a revolution. Well, literally, it revolves. Oh yeah, I did that one already. You know, before you have to do it in a particular order. Yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise, you know, you can't fold it back. Yeah. But you can do it like that. Or... Like oh, that. okay. Just making life easier, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 